Even more than the material being that you have come to know as you, you are a vibrational being. When someone looks at you, they see you with their eyes and hear you with their ears, but you are presenting yourself to them and to the universe in a much more emphatic way than can be seen or heard. You are a vibrational transmitter and you are broadcasting your signal in every moment of your existence. As you are focused in this physical body and while you are awake, you are constantly projecting a very specific, easily identifiable signal that is instantly received, understood and answered. Immediately, your present and future circumstances begin to change in response to the signal you're offering now. And so, the entire universe, right now, is affected by what you are offering. Your world, present and future, is directly and specifically affected by the signal that you are now transmitting. The personality that is you is really an eternal personality, but who you are right now and what you are thinking right now is causing a focusing of energy that is very powerful. This energy that you are focusing is the same energy that creates worlds, and it is, in this very moment, creating your world. You have a built-in, easy-to-understand guidance system within you with indicators that help you understand the strength or power of your signal as well as the direction of your focus. And most important, it is this very same guidance system that helps you understand the alignment of your chosen thought with the energy stream itself. Your feelings are the representatives of your guidance system. In other words, the way you feel is your true indicator of your alignment with your source and of your alignment with your own intentions, both pre-birth and currently. Every thought that has ever been thought still exists, and whenever you focus upon a thought, you activate the vibration of that thought within you. So whatever you are currently giving your attention to is an activated thought, but when you turn your attention away from a thought, it becomes dormant or no longer active. The only way to consciously deactivate a thought is to activate another. In other words, the only way to deliberately withdraw your attention from one thought is to give your attention to another. When you give your attention to anything, the vibration at first is not very strong. But if you continue to think about it or speak about it, the vibration gets stronger. So with enough attention to any subject, it can become a dominant thought. As you give more and more attention to any thought, and as you focus upon it and therefore practice the vibration of it, the thought becomes an even bigger part of your vibration. And you could now call this practice thought a belief. Because the law of attraction is behind the expansion of your thoughts, it is not possible to give your attention to something without achieving an alignment with it to some degree. And so the longer you ponder the thought, and the more frequently you return to the thought, the stronger your vibrational alignment becomes. As you achieve a stronger alignment with any thought, you then begin to feel emotions that indicate your increased or decreased alignment with your own source. In other words, as you give more of your attention to any subject, your emotional reading of either harmony or disharmony with who you really are becomes stronger. If the subject of your attention is in alignment with what the source of your being knows, you would feel the harmony of your thoughts in the form of good feelings. But if the subject of your attention is not in alignment with what your source knows it to be, you would feel the disharmony of your thoughts in the form of bad feelings. Since this is an attraction-based universe, there's no such thing as exclusion. Everything is about inclusion. So when you see something that you would like to experience and you focus upon it, shouting yes to it, you include it in your experience. But when you see something you would not want to experience and you focus upon it, shouting no at it, you also include that in your experience. You do not invite it in with your yes and exclude it with your no because there is no exclusion in this attraction-based universe. Your focus is the invitation. Your attention to it is the invitation. And so... Those who are mostly observers thrive in good times but suffer in bad times because what they're observing is already vibrating and as they observe it, they include it in their vibrational countenance and as they include it, the universe accepts that as their point of attraction and gives them more of the essence of it. So for an observer, the better it gets, the better it gets, or the worse it gets, the worse it gets. However, one who is a visionary thrives in all times. With your practiced attention to any subject, the law of attraction delivers circumstances, conditions, experiences, other people, and all manner of things that match your habitual dominant vibration. And as things begin to manifest around you that match the thoughts you've been holding, you now develop stronger and stronger vibrational habits or proclivities. And so your once small and insignificant thought has now evolved into a powerful belief and your powerful beliefs will always be played out in your experience.